up blockchain nation what up youtube thank you for taking the time to uh, watch this video and if you haven't yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button below and make sure you hit the bell so that you can get uh, notifications whenever I release videos and for those who watch these videos consistently I want to say a big thank you thank you thank you so you're watching this video because you are trying to make a decision you're wondering whether you should uh, you're trying to become a software developer software engineer maybe a UI UX person you're good in uh, data science you're just trying to break into tech and you're wondering what's the best route to take some people will say you should take the self-taught route some people will suggest that you go to college. Some people suggest that you go to a bootcamp because different things work with different people. So um, here, I'm just gonna let, let you know my personal opinion, give you the pros and cons of all three, then you can decide for yourself which direction that you, you wanna go. So uh, just quick background for me, my background is in engineering. I didn't study computer, computer science in college, but although in my final year in college, I did a one major, I did an artificial intelligence course and I picked up a little bit of C++, maybe not in, not in a class, but I just started to read a lot of books on programming in my final year. So I didn't actually have a class that taught uh, programming, but I picked it up my last year in college. Anyway, so uh, yeah, people say stuff about college and they say there's no point in going to college. They talk about people like Bill Gates who dropped out of college, Zuckerberg who dropped out of college, or they talk about um, the guys who were in Google, the owners of Google, Sergey Brin and um, Larry Page, how they also dropped out of college and they're successful today. Well, let's just say this, arguably, Let's start with Bill Gates. First of all, Bill Gates, by the time he was 13 years old, had 10,000 hours of programming experience. When he was either in high school or just about to go into college, his first couple of years, he was already writing code for companies like IBM, for crying out loud. He had been programming since he was, I don't even know how, yeah, since 12, 13. So if that's you, if you are writing code since you are 12, 13 years old and you have 10,000 hours of programming experience, then you can drop out of college, right? So let's just say, let's make that very clear. Also, Zuckerberg was in Harvard. He was coding and then he took some time off to pursue Facebook. Facebook blew up. What was the point of going back, right? So you have to, before you make a generic statement, because I've heard people say, well, I'm in college, I'm going to quit and I'm going to do my own thing. I don't know. This is my personal opinion. If you're 15, 16 years old and you have an opportunity to go to college, then go. I mean, really? Yeah. But I know there are some pros and cons. So let's talk about the pros and cons of college. Pro number one, community and networking opportunities is great. The people we just talked about like Bill Gates, Bill Gates met Paul Allen while he was in college. Great combination. Uh, um, Zuckerberg met the Winklevoss twins and whoever else it is, he worked on Facebook arguably with while he was in college. Sergey Brin and Larry Page, the owners of Google, they met while they were writing their research paper in Stanford. So sometimes you meet great people. So it gives you a great community and a great opportunity to network. Because in some cases, some people who eventually look, find jobs and are working in particular industries is because some guy they met who was in the same college, same dorm room, same fraternity. So the networking opportunities are great. Second good thing about college is that it's structured. It's a structured environment where you follow a particular structure. Some of us, we need that structure. Structure is good. We have, we have structure our whole life. Sometimes we get to a certain age and we're like, we don't want any structure anymore. But structure is good. So, and the second good thing about college is it's structured. And as of this recording, perception is another good reason because for whatever reason, you still have that employer who's out there, who's interviewing you and asking you, what alma mater did you go to? There are very few of them, but in some cases, there are some industries, very few still, but it's still out there where they're like, hey, we're gonna hire you just because, oh, you went to the same college as I did, it happens. I don't know why it does, but it just does. So maybe that might be a good reason, who knows? Now let's talk about the cons. With every good thing, there are always the bad things. One is, in a lot of cases, the curriculum is outdated. Tech changes very, very fast. Very, very, very fast. Today is this new framework that's new. Second is a totally different framework. And so for a huge institution like a college, which already has a pre-planned curriculum, sometimes it's hard to change. It's hard to change in different um, fields of study, especially and tech that changes very, very fast. You need to be able to change the curriculum, and that might be just one drawback with college. So sometimes, in some cases, the college is, um, curriculum is outdated. I know Harvard has this um, YouTube channel, CS50, which is great, and they are really, really up to date with their tech. So I'm sure there are other colleges out there who are also, but for the most part, a lot of them are, um, have the outdated curriculum. Second is no job guarantee. A college, college does not guarantee a job, I know. All college does for is they guarantee a certificate and then you are on your own. College tuition is going through the roof, but jobs offers when you come out of college, 
the um, in a lot of cases the, the the paycheck doesn't really justify the hundred thousand dollar loan in some cases which takes me to my third point which is it is expensive college is let's not fool ourselves baby in the united states you can be forgiven of credit card debt you can declare bankruptcy you can be forgiven for different for a lot of debt but you know your student loan is non forgiven you will pay student loans until you die even when you die they'll probably send you a uh, bill still because they don't know your debt so honestly it's expensive very very expensive that's one of the cons of um, college and lastly is the time commitment yeah you're going to spend the next four years of your life at the very least in a room full of people that you don't like but uh, okay so those are the pros and cons so that's the first thing college I know it's not very exciting in the beginning and my cons kind of kind of threw you off but hey that's just what it is second is the second route is boot camp first so we've talked about college going through the college route next is boot camps boot camps are coming more and more popular popular all around the world um, especially in the US and um, here are the pros of a boot camp I'm, personally I have gone through boot camp I've done a video on that and I think boot camps in my experience were just great so here's the first advantage of boot camps so unlike college it takes in four years boot camps are very very fast paced somewhere from four months to 12 months you go through a very very rigorous cur curriculum so that's one of the pros of boot camp is that they are very fast paced and uh, you uh, complete what might take you a long time to achieve in other uh, routes boot camps let you achieve that much faster so it's fast paced second advantage of boot camp is you have um, a community as well and you have great networking opportunities because you build a community of other people where you can talk where you can share hey there's this job opening here there's this new business idea blah 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 so it's a great opportunity to network and to meet people so that's a good thing about um, boot camps second um, pro of boot camp is the fact that you can network with people and uh, it's a good good community third advantage of boot camps is that is mentorship mentorship and also the fact that you are job ready they make you job ready because boot camps are outcomes based the goal of a boot camp is not just to teach you stuff like college is just to teach you stuff a boot camp is to get you a job the credibility of a boot camp goes through the roof when they can say hey we had we have 90 percent or 97 percent 95 percent of our students that get a security job after so their goal is to get you a job which is a good pro there is to mentor you and to make you job ready so that's the wonderful thing about boot camps is that they provide mentorship and they make sure that you their goal ultimate goal is for you to secure a job which is fine it's a win-win for everyone right now cons one of the cons is yes it's expensive the boot camp will range from so anywhere from thirteen thousand to seventeen thousand dollars, depending on the boot camp you go to. Some good boot camps offer partial scholarships, where they can take a thousand or two thousand off your tuition, but ultimately, it's still fifteen thousand dollars is still a lot of money. You have to take a loan. But one good thing about college, about boot camps, is that you can take something called an ISA, which is an income share agreement, which means that you don't have to pay anything. But when you get a job, you give them ten percent of the salary. So I guess that's another pool of um, of a boot camp. But yes, it's expensive. Second thing is the wrong perception. When I mean wrong perception, wrong perception for some, some employers. I don't know why. Some people feel, oh, well, all you just did was you went to a boot camp. Although it's changing, and eventually that full perception is probably going to disappear when they see the quality of uh, graduates that you get from boot camps. But some places, some people will frown at you and be like, well, I went to a four year college and I studied electrical and computer engineering. And you just went six months into some boot camp and now you can tell me you can code. Yeah, you find that guy, that girl somewhere. I don't know why, but they show up. So sometimes the wrong perception by people. Nothing I can do about it, but it's the world we live in. And last disadvantage is no income throughout the period that you're in boot camp. Now, when you're in college, usually you're younger, 16, 17, 18 years old. Uh, but when you find a lot of people who are, most people, a higher percentage of people who are in boot camps are people who want to change their careers. They're at a particular phase in their life where maybe they're done with school, or maybe they're done with high school, or maybe they're just working already and they don't like what they're doing and they want to change to something else. So you can actually go the um, part time route of a college, or you can just do it online so that you don't have to quit your job. But uh, if you do decide to go the full-time route, which is great because you get to immerse yourself, you get to be around the environment, you're doing that 24-7, you know, which is what I got. I mean, it's hard to do a boot camp and do a job, just to be honest with you. So it's kind of like going to college, where, you know, you're doing college, but you can go to college and work as well. Anyway, but because um, boot camps are more fast-paced, you're trying to condense um, months and months of curriculum into just four months. So that's why it's hard to get a job to to work a job while you're in boot camp so you have no income during that period which is something that you have to consider if you want to go into a boot camp so 
Lastly is the self-taught route. So I've done the, I've done a lot of them all. I've done the boot camp. I've also done the self-taught route. It's cruel and unusual punishment. But before I talk about that, I want to say this: that no matter what you do, whether you're going to college, whether you're going to a boot camp, you're going to have to do a lot of self-teaching. That's just the way it is. You still go on Udemy and buy courses to learn a couple of things. Even before I went to a boot camp, I did a lot of self-teaching. Lots, lots, and lots, and lots, and lots of Udemy videos. Lots and lots and lots of um, free code camp. Lots and lots of practice. Lots and lots of algorithms. Lots and lots of books. So even before joining a boot camp, even while even when I was in college studying engineering, I still was reading books on C++. Although I, was in, I didn't really code when I was, I just did one project when I was, let me clarify, I did one project when I was in college. When I left college, I ended up in financial services in financial institutions and I wasn't doing coding. So I'm going to make that very clear, unless you think I've been programming forever. Anyways, so the self-taught route, all you need to do is buy books, you know, you can get courses on Udemy, courses that cost $10, $20, which is affordable, especially if you're working while you're doing the self-taught route. Second pro is that you learn at your own pace. Boot camps can be very intimidating sometimes when people are around you and everybody's like learning so fast and you're like, what's going on here? But um, yeah, you learn at your own pace, which can be sometimes a pro, I guess. And then the third good thing about the software route is that you don't have to quit your job. You can do it while you're working. You can do it even while you're doing while you're even while you're doing all this other stuff. So those are the pros of the software route. Here are the cons. No community or mentorship. Now, yeah, self taught you're pretty much by yourself. You can go on Stack Overflow and ask questions. You can, ho what I might suggest, it might cost you a little bit, is to get a mentor while you are doing this, while you're, um, if you decide to go the self taught route or to teach yourself, because you need that someone to ans as answer your questions because it's tough. You can go on forums and ask questions, but it, sometimes you get a response, sometimes you don't. But it's great to have some kind of mentor or maybe do some peer programming where you can ask questions. So that's one of the disadvantages of the self taught route. Second is that it's the longest route. Really, really long ride. It can take you a long time, as opposed to a boot camp where it's four, four, um, four months. Yeah, college is four years, arguably. Software doesn't have to be that, that long, but it's a long route doing learning by your, on your own. And lastly, it's hard to structure a learning path. I mean, I'm, I had the advantage of knowing exactly how to go through the self learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, then transition to learning Solidity because I wanted to go into become a blockchain developer. So I was able to build some kind of curriculum, but it's sometimes it's hard for, other, for, for a lot of us to do that because you're not sure, especially when people are pushing in different directions. You're looking for a job and they say, well, you need to know Python. And then you start learning Python. They say, no, you need to know Node.js, JS, and you're learning Node.js. And somebody says, oh, the best thing to learn is, and you're going left Ruby on Rails, and you're going from left to right. You're not sure how to structure your learning. So it, at the end of the day, when you're moving from changing from this, changing from that, you end up learning absolutely nothing. So that's one of the disadvantages is that it's hard to structure a learning path when you're by yourself or learning on your own because you don't have a mentor to guide you. I say, just relax, focus and learn this for six, three months, six months. Then later on, we can talk about stuff. Learn Ruby on Rails, then we can move to Node.js or learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Build your JavaScript skills, focus on Node.js. You can use that same JavaScript, those same JavaScript skills and use it for um, to build a full stack application. So there we have it. So. Uh, boot camps, college, or the self-taught routes, which should you go? The answer is all three. Uh -huh. If you're opportune to, if you're starting young, it depends on where you are. Let me just put that. If you're young, you're 15, 16, you're, 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 you have the opportunity to go, to go to college, go. If you're in college and you, 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 you create the next big thing, the next eBay, the next Facebook, then you can take time off college and then you can go try that thing. If it works, fine. If it doesn't, you can always go back. So to me personally, if you have the opportunity to go, why not? Just go. So. Second, but if you're in, and then after college, when you graduate, you can decide that, oh, hey, I want to build up my skills even further, and then I want to join a boot camp. You can actually do that after college. That way, you can also, I know it's more debt, but there are ways that you can focus and make sure you have enough funds saved. Maybe do a part time job while you're in college. Now, I'm going into the weeds now. I don't want to go into all those details. But if you're in opportunity, if you're an opportunity where you can go to college, to college, then you can do a boot camp, and then you can now, and while you're doing that, you're gonna to have to learn to teach yourself anyway. But now, if you're at a different phase in your life, for this phase in your career, and you can't afford to go back to college, maybe you're much older, you don't have the time, you have children, you have a wife, you have, or you have a husband and you want to go back to learn how to code, then you can just go to boot camp route. You don't necessarily have to code. It depends on where you are. Then you can go back, go to boot camp route. Or if you have so much going on, you can't afford a boot camp, 
and you can't afford college and you just have to teach yourself, then teach yourself. Sacrifice your weekends and teach yourself. But I would so strongly suggest you go to meetup groups uh, learn yourself. So then and, and meet up groups so that you can have people that can counsel you or that can help you or that can answer you, that can answer your questions. There are people who have become software developers that have done nothing but the self-taught route, which is great. There are people who have done the uh, boot camp route and they have jobs. There are also people that have done the college route. So it's the one that works best for you. Hope that helps, ladies and gentlemen. Hope that hope found value in that. So till next time, my wish for you is that you learn how to code because coding is changing the whole change world, um, especially this blockchain distributed ledger technology space. And in my personal opinion, those who get involved early will greatly impact the future. And if that's you, then let's go change the world.